Hey guys, we are here with another episode of Sewing 101. And I'm filming this on the same day I just finished doing the custom size Traveler's Notebook cover. And I just cleaned up from that project so I thought we'd do this one really quick. So I saw Callie Black's video where she was making, um, or gonna make, um, some sari ribbon yar uh, yarn out of some silk scraps and old clothing I think and things that she had. And someone else did it too. I want to say it was Secret Soto, but I'm honestly not sure. It might have been. Um, and it just gave me an idea of doing something similar. So I've got all these kind of shreds of fabric. So these are from old clothing and things from the thrift store. If you have stuff in your stash you can use, of course you can use that. Some of it is silk, like this blue one is actually silk, and I think the brown one might be too. Um, but as I was going through things that I had to rip up into these strips, and they can be any size, they don't have to be even regular sizes, they can be random. Um, I thought to myself, I bet rayon would do the same thing. So basically what you do is you cut a little notch in the fabric. So say you have a big giant piece of fabric like um, a scarf, um, old scarf. This, is, this was a scarf and so was the pink one. Um, so you just take whatever it is, maybe it's a blouse or something, maybe it's actual fabric, and I'll show you on this end. You just cut a little notch in it um, where you want it to rip and then you just pull. And it's going to rip on the straight of grain, so wherever the threads are, are going that are ma making up the fabric, it's going to follow the easy path and it's going to rip on the straight of grain. So you can do it with anything, and I thought, of course silk would do that, but I bet rayon would too, and, I, and it did. This was rayon. It worked like a charm. So um, whatever kind of woven, silky, soft fabric you have will work for this. Um, get a variety of colors and patterns, um, a combination that's going to be interesting, and then I thought, you know, what if we paired this up with some lace? I've got lots of lace laying around the studio. I also have this that I picked up recently at the Japanese dollar store, Daiso. There's about three and a quarter yards of each one of these for $1.50, which is cheap. So my idea was, what if I took this and I just started sewing this two strips of the fabric kind of at random. Um, so some here go along and then attach this, sew a different one. Like that would make an interesting fiber that would be able to be used later on um, a journal cover on the spine or something like that. So we're going to do that. I'm going to speed through it and I'll be right back. I decided not to speed through it. We're going to talk our way through it. So I just took my strip of fabric, I kind of bunched it up a little bit, I put it under the presser foot with a piece of lace on top of it and I'm just going to go back and forth. It's just a simple straight stitch. Then I'm going to take I'm going to take the fabric and the lace together. I'm going to follow it down until the um, fabric ends, and then I'm just kind of going to randomly pick another piece of fabric, and I'm going to overlay one against the other. I'm going to overlap them about an inch or two, and I'm going to bunch again, bunch them up and stick them under the presser foot. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing. Follow this down. This is a long piece. So I may, I'm going to follow this down to about here, and then I'm going to take another piece. These are both pretty sheer, and I'm going to keep the brown one on there, but I'm going to stick in a piece of the pink. Um, this isn't about making sure everything's flat and perfect. This is going to be like a mixed media thing. So if it's like, you know, crazy and overlapped and twisted, it's all good. Remember, we're mixed media artists. There's no rules. I'm gonna stick it into the foot. foot. Sew it down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a piece of the blue. I like this blue one. It was a blouse that I found at the Goodwill. Figure out where I want to stick it. And you could cut these off anywhere. So like I'm going to cut this pink one off down here where it meets the blue. Now 
I'm going to lift my presser foot out and push all of this underneath the foot so it's out of the way. And then we're going to just keep going. But now if all these like loose threads and things like you're the kind of person that's going to just drive you crazy, then just ripping the fabric into shreds might not be for you. <laughs> you might want to cut it properly and hem it, but this is supposed to be like a fun mixed media thing, so I don't know if I would bother be bothered with doing that. Some more of the pink. Okay. And see, like, we have this bit hanging. I'm going to leave it because I could see that on the end of a journal, and I could see that just hanging there. That would be cool. I want to have some of the blue down here. Do I want it there or do I want it here? I think I want it down here. So then once you get to the end, you do want to sew the end. So we're going to like just grab it all like this. And we're going to end it where the lace ends, or about thereabouts. I'm going to trim everything. You know, I'm not left-handed. That didn't work very well. Let's, let's try it this way. There we go. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to trim all our threads off. Now this is a mixed media fabric, so I don't even know that I would get too fussy about trimming the threads super close. I, I think I would leave some of them. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I would trim the really long ones, and I'm going to trim the really long ones. I'm just cutting it apart where I sewed the different sections. Like this one here is like really long, so I'm going to cut that one. I'm not going to cut it all the way flush. I'm going to leave it. See, there's a little tail. Can you see that? So I'm going to leave that. That's fine. So now we have this piece of uh, ribbon that can be used to sew a journal cover or decorate a spine. Isn't that cool? this piece of like mixed media ribbon and I would um, wrap them around a card or wrap them in a ball and I think I'm going to wrap it around a card I have one handy somewhere okay whoops almost fell over so I think I would wrap it around a card I'm going to get a piece of tape Alright, so I think I would just use a piece of scotch tape. This has to, happens to be decorative scotch tape, but just plain is fine. Um, just to hold it to the card while you're wrapping it around, just for storage purposes. And then, you know, I would make a few different ones of these in like different colorways, you know, and maybe it would be a fun trade to uh, make some of these and then trade bits and pieces with your friends and collect them in different colors. And how fun would that be on like a, on a journal cover? Um, and then you could just stick a pin in there. You could put um, uh, ribbon in there with the fabric pieces. You could put yarn in there with the fabric pieces. You could do anything. So I'm going to make more with the cream colored lace that disappeared under my pile of stuff somewhere. And I'll be right back. Now on this one I just put all three of the fabrics and the lace together because why not? I, I could just totally see this binding one of the Traveler's Notebook journals um, running along the spine. Couldn't you? Let me get the one I made this morning, the large one. So this is the large one that I made this morning but can't you see this in 
uh, going in and out the two eyelets, the upper and lower eyelet, decorating the spine. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe with some of it hanging off the top with charms and beads hanging on it. So cool. So think about making your own ribbon and fibers to do your uh, mixed media and art journaling with. It's a lot of fun. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy anything. You might have a bag of old um, clothing laying around um, that has thin fabric in it, uh, woven. You want woven, not knits. I think it'll make inter more interesting um, yarn. You could do it a knit with knits, but you'll have to cut it. I don't think it's going to rip. Um, but give it a try. See what you think. I'm going to store mine on this card um, or a wooden clothespin. Now, after I did this, I realized I might have some wooden clothespins, which I actually like. This might be too much. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go put this away. I love it. I'm going to save it for one of my notebooks. Think about making some for yourself, and I will be back soon with more Sewing 101. Don't forget the most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.